Patrick or Rudy Loeffler of the uh, Armour Group South. Uh, our period is uh, World War II, 20th century, but concentrating on World War II. Uh, my impression today is a uh, Waffen SS soldier of uh, the late part of the war. So we have uh, all different nationalities, Russians, Americans, Australians. So we, we cover the whole gamut of World War II. Um, the German side of it is very popular within our group, so we have a, a, a good number of, uh, of German soldiers represented. <laughs> he just came out for a drink. <laughs> Hello, this is La Belle Alliance. Uh, we're a group which uh, seeks to portray civilian and uh, military impressions from the Napoleonic period. Uh, we do both uh, Napoleonic, we also do Brunswick, uh, and uh, any other impression we care to do. Um, at the moment I'm uh, portraying a um, uh, grenadier from uh, 30ME. You can see in the Australian encampment they're playing two up which would be probably fairly typical after all it is uh, World War I and whoops, they sp finally spotted the Germans heading their way. And as you can see, casualties already. And of course if you're wondering why the field gun isn't being utilised, the ammunition carrier is right up the front, and he's already been hit. They've surrendered. Those that are uh, not already down on the ground and dead, the Germans have now surrendered. Hi, my name's Davin. We're from Cobbers in Khaki and Green. We do various ANZAC units. This weekend we're representing the 26th Battalion, World War One AIF. We help commemorate all sorts of events, uh, the veterans and Anzac Day, Remembrance Day, that sort of thing. <laughs> and yeah, we're just getting involved in History Alive this year. We've been running for a couple of years now. Most of us have been in reenactment for a long time and we formed Cobbers a couple of years ago. We are Anne and Ariel Nielsen. Uh, we are the president treasurer from Saga Vikings. And what we do is Viking reenactments. We actually are Viking. A big part of our group speaks the Viking language, like Danish, Norwegian, or Swedish. And we are trying to be as accurate as possible. My name is uh, Rathma. I am uh, in charge of uh, Raffenheim and uh, this is our first actual encampment at History Alive or any of these events. This group is a Dark Age early Viking period and uh, so we do the, it's a small group, fairly itinerant and uh, we have mus musicians, we have artists, we have um, general people who, uh, the basic story is we travel from homestead to homestead. Okay, we're Company Knights Bachelor. The group's been going for probably over 22 years now. It originated with a group of guys that uh, wanted to do basically medieval sword fighting, specifically about 12th century. They decided to set it just after the Third Crusade so they could have lots of different nationalities all coming together. Yes, the group Knights of Empire Germanica was founded in 2001 and it was founded as a Teutonic group. So we represent a German nobility from the uh, late of 14th century, the time of tournaments and uh, chivalry, courtship and of course uh, the, the combatants are in the tournaments and training in combat. 
We, um, the, the order itself portrays the high middle ages of the closing years of the 14th century. What we do is uh, we portray a tournament society which is a group of people that travel around and following the tournaments throughout Europe. Uh, we operate from the end of the 14th century, all of the clothes, the equipment, the weapons, the armour and the, even our performances and knighting ceremonies are all taken from documents from the era. Prima Sparta is a uh, fencing school. We actually teach the art of 16th century dueling. Students go through a graded system, taking people off the street from when they've never seen a sword before, teach them which is a blunt end, which is a pointy end, and grade by grade we teach them how to fence safely and confidently uh, as a sport. So not so much as a martial art teaching people how to kill each other, but as a sport that you can enjoy the art of fencing. Okay, my, my name's Captain Leanne Kerr. I run the 123 Army Cadet Unit at Nanango State High School. Uh, we, we have 22 cadets running at the moment. With Army Cadets we do a lot of military training. We go on bivouacs. Um, we try and get as much, more, uh, much community involvement as we can doing a representation of the gentry, which is um, middle class people rather than the poorer folk of the time. And um, just doing all, yeah, it's Jane Austen's period, so we're doing all of the kind of gentle arts like sewing, writing, reading poetry to each other. And it's a very pleasant kind of way to spend a day. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're the 19th Alabama, Army of Tennessee, Confederate, States of America. Uh, we represent a campaign company operating in the Western Theater of Battle in the American Civil War. We operate under the American Civil War Roundtable Queensland, and our sister unit is 44th Georgia. Um, sleeping out campaign style, carrying the Barrett necessities, and trying to have our uniforms and equipment as authentic as we possibly can. We represent the Queensland Scottish Volunteer Corps, a, a detachment um, of the local Queensland Defence Force. Uh, the original unit was formed in 1885 during the Russian War Scare and we depict the unit as it was in 1888. Uh, our organisation's been going since 1996 and in fact we've actually reenacted longer than the original unit survived, uh, which is just a little curiosity. Um, We've been doing this, as I said, for a long time. We have a, a rather large encampment, um, but always looking for recruits. Apple right gun, fire! Number seven gun, fire! Uniform I'm wearing is representative of a period of the mid-1890s, and we are a battery Queensland permanent artillery, members of whom uh, man the fort on a full-time basis. Queensland Permanent Artillery actually started off with 72 members and ended up at Federation with around 209, looking after batteries here at Lipton, two at Townsville and one at Thursday. Number six, gun, one. That one was loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beauty. Uh, g'day, I'm Battery Sergeant Major Bob Chapburn member of the Queensland Colonial Association. My part of the group looks after the guns, 64 pounders, Fort Benton National Park. Uh, we're here today with all the groups on History Alive weekend. QCA have do a lot of uh, reenactments for Queensland. We uh, reenact uh, Ned Kelly. We also have contingent of Queensland police, Colonial police that is. And also we do a reenactment of John Oxley's landing at Redcliffe uh, coming up later on in the year.